blowout win, right? Well, hey, today weather wise, we're looking pretty good out there too. A lot of sunshine. I can see from our BJCC camera, not bad temperatures there. 61 degrees, some light winds out there, dry air in place, pretty comfortable weather. Most of us around 60 to 61 degrees. Tuscaloosa, the warm spot now coming in at 64 degrees and around the southeast. Everybody just basically in the 60s, a little bit warmer in the mid 60s. You get to the coast, New Orleans to Mobile, both at 66 degrees. What we have is high pressure sitting just south Louisiana. You have the clockwise flow around it, bringing up those southwesterly winds today and eventually we'll see more southerly winds coming into play for tomorrow and the cloud cover you see here building into Shreveport coming out of Texas. That's going to eventually head into our area for tomorrow. But today a lot of sunshine temperatures getting to about 65 degrees out there. Comfortable weather for us and looking ahead to Valentine's Day. We'll see clouds on the increase throughout the day. Kind of a mix of sun and clouds to mostly cloudy in the afternoon. It's going to be a breezy day out there too as temperatures get to 70 degrees for tomorrow. But look at some of these wind gusts tomorrow over 20, 25, even up to 33 miles per hour as we get into Tuesday evening. So if you're going out on date night, it's going to be a windy one here in town. So keep that in mind. Chance of rain does increase overnight into Wednesday and then Wednesday into Thursday. That's when our main day we can see some strong and severe weather will build back into the area here and future cast will show Wednesday's weather again seeing some waves and some showers coming in in the morning and we'll see more of these popping up from time to time in the afternoon, possibly later in the day. Some stronger storms over northwestern Alabama, but eventually we'll get the 70s for much of the area here. So looking like we are going to see that severe threat Wednesday off to Memphis to Dallas area off to our northwest, but it does move into our area for Thursday. We have a slight risk for everyone here and that's just kind of what we're looking at. Instability. One of the things we call thunderstorm fuel is one of the factors you want to see the instability increasing have a better chance of storms. The highest level still over southern Mississippi, but notice we have some here. Unlike past events, didn't have a lot of the instability we do at this point, and that'll continue to taper off as the system moves through by Thursday evening. So Thursday afternoon is the time frame we're looking at. Then you'll look at what's called a low level jet stream. River winds aloft just above the surface here, and that's going to move in. Strongest state to our north, but there'll be just enough of it here moving in place. They'll give us a threat for some of those stronger to severe thunderstorms during the day on Thursday into Thursday evening. So we do have a weather alert for Thursday afternoon and evening. We're talking potential damaging winds, a few tornadoes, some flash flooding maybe with one to three inches of rain and some hail with this system as it moves on in. And you can see here those storms will be building in during the afternoon hours there on Thursday before clearing out as we get into Thursday evening. So this won't be a prolonged event, but definitely something we'll have to keep a close eye on for Thursday. So we have that weather alert 73 or high there, but turning much colder and breezy heading into Friday.